Right now, a mystery at a senior building in Chicago's Edgewater neighborhood. We now know the identities and ages of the three people found unresponsive yesterday morning, but not the circumstances surrounding their deaths. CBS 2's Jer Darius Johnson returned to Edgewater to learn more. It's been more than 24 hours since Chicago police found three people unresponsive inside the senior housing complex. And in that time, residents still have more questions than answers. This gathering is common at the Judge Fisher Apartments on North Broadway. Tuesday, yeah, she was out there sitting with us. And... But this gathering for Roberta Nunziato and the other seniors is different. She would come down for lunch and she would sit and talk to us. She's talking about 70 year old Linda Daly, her friend of two years. Always looking forward to the next adventure. But there's no adventure waiting after this scene Friday morning. Around 630 Chicago police were here. When I came down, it was just a solid mass of squad cars. Just, I mean, from one end of the block all the way to the other end of the block. Police found three unresponsive in Linda's 12th floor apartment. That's horrifying. I had no idea. I slept through the whole thing. 53-year-old David Edwards was dead inside. 38-year-old Royce Doherty and 70-year-old Linda Daly died at the hospital. I don't know what happened, but it's sad. And we're all going to miss her, all of us. Fear of the unknown when all you have are feelings. Scared. You know, this building's supposed to be safe. Wasn't murder. You know, I mean, it's the fear of the unknown. We don't know what happened. What she does remember is Tuesday when Linda sat outside with her. One of the things that she loved, the ice cream at McDonald's. She just loved it. And as a matter of fact, one of the last conversations we had was she was mad because she went to McDonald's and the machine was broken. Leaving Linda in an uproar, but her children and grandchildren always brought a smile. I feel so badly for her children because she really loved them and her grandkids. This is just horrible. I pray for their family. As prayer continues, so do the gatherings, with one no longer present. Saying around here, well, it's having, you know, very um, unsettled. But we're old. And we'll get by, you know. Hopefully, Linda's at peace now. In Edgewater, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. And the medical examiner says it's still unclear what caused the victims' deaths. Meanwhile, the Chicago Housing Authority reassured residents there's no danger or threat.